What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jordan Peele's nope in this video here again today. So earlier last week, uh, mid last week, we got some new footage at CinemaCon that wasn't released to the public yet, but it was from the new movie coming out later this summer. Jordan Peele presented it. He did also go into some explanations as to why he chose this title and just interrelation of speaking about some of the fan theories. Now the footage that was shown there's not too many outlets that decided to actually put it into descriptions but i found like two of them at least vulture and the rap that gave some descriptions of apparently what was shown in these descriptions of the footage the details in the footage that was shown seem to confirm what is going on in the movie but before i get to that i do just want to talk about what jordan peele did say about some of the fan theories first he did say some of the theories get kind of close and some are nonsense, but some are also useful. More than anything, I appreciate an audience that's engaged in looking for clues. He then went on to go into some reasons as to why it was titled Nope, and his like thinking when it goes into titling his movies. He said that I like titles in tune with how audiences are feeling and thinking inside the theater, he explained. You say this is going to be a scary movie. They say nope, not for me, especially for black audiences. We love horror, but there's a skepticism. You ain't gonna scare me, nope. I'm going to personally thrive on a number of times we hear the word nope in the theater that person who doesn't like horror movies is going to bring that person in so i like the way he's thinking about it like that and i know for certain there's one individual i'm thinking of in my personal life who i could tell them about this movie they would they would watch it just out of curiosity they knowingly knowing it's a horror movie they don't really like to watch horror movies but just something about how he has marketed the movie and the way he titled it and just because of who Jordan Peele has kind of made himself known to be in the horror community, I could get that person to watch this movie. So I see where he's coming from with that. And as it stands with the footage that was shown, so I'm going to go into some details that if you don't want to, I guess, have them revealed to you, you want to be completely surprised, you need to click off right now. But in the sneak peek show, Kaluuya and Palmer are talking about the mysterious disappearances happening around their ranch along with the footage of Kaluuya running in the dark as a mysterious force in the sky in the middle of the night is chasing him. The next day, the pair set up a series of security cameras around the ranch, convinced that aliens are behind the strange disappearances and are bent on finding proof of extraterrestrial life. The trailer has Pills now signature mix of humorous banter between his character while they get in and out of harrowing situations, including a chase from a flying saucer. Then what Vulture had to say about that was that in the new note footage screen for first time at CinemaCon, we meet Daniel Kalua and Kiki Palmer as a married horse ranch owner operators facing a supernatural crisis. A UFO, a literal unidentified flying object, has been hovering above their home, alternately yanking people into the sky and raining down death from above. I saw something above the clouds, Palmer says in the clip. It was big. Oscar nominee Stephen Young appears in the cowboy hat and a resident red rodeo suit or in a, a resplendent red rodeo suit, I meant to say. And a kind, he's, his character described as a kind of messianic figure who ominously intones, you are about to witness an absolute spectacle. And then going into some more spoilers, after an alien spacecraft drenches their house in blood, Kaluuya and Palmer's characters realize the life and death stakes of their situation, compelling them to enlist outside help in the unlikely form of an electronic store delivery man and a documentarian identified as the only person who can find it, it being the UFO. So this description, both of those are seemingly already closing the nail on the fact that this is having to do with aliens, which many of us have already speculated on. That doesn't mean that it's going to be the traditional type of aliens that I think we're thinking of. It could be a, a different spin on what they're talking about with these aliens. Also, just from going off of the description, it just seems like there is no other thing that could kind of have our doubts on. The footage might make it a little bit more clear because these descriptions here from the articles of what they saw are calling it an alien spacecraft and the way this is just being worded i guess all just is confirming that yep you have a ufo that's been going around doing some damage in this ranch area and you have this couple we're going to be focused on trying to figure out what's going on now the question still remains for me what do these aliens want if it is indeed aliens what do they want are they looking to help the human race or is this something of where some people that are here have always been a part of this 
new migration to Earth from these aliens. And it's been something that's been planned for many years. And if so, what was this plan? Why was this all orchestrated? What is going on? If I'm not mistaken, originally, Kiki Palmer's character, this could have been just a mistake in the sense that they thought it was going to be that. And that's how it was reported. They said that she was the villain in the movie. So are are the humans actually going to end up being the ones in the wrong and the aliens are the heroes? Or is it a case where some of these humans that we think are on our side while we're watching them, they're actually on the side of the aliens? But again, we don't know who's in the right or who's in the wrong. It sounds like, though, that maybe if Kiki Palmer is indeed the the villain, if that report is still true, she doesn't look like a villain so far from what we've seen. But I'm pretty certain there was a report that said she was a villain starring in a new Jordan Peele movie or she would star in a new Jordan Peele movie as the villain. Uh, I can't be the one that remembers this. If that's true still, then that might mean that, yes, the humans in this movie, they're not what they appear to be. The aliens are the ones that are in the right and something else is going on that will be explained. It'll be explored. It might have something to do also with themes about immigration. It just might be trying to touch on certain things about, again, how people react in response to panic and overreact and how people just think that their actions when they're in fight or flight mode in a mode in which they're trying to do everything they can to protect themselves that their bad behaviors while in the name of trying to protect themselves are all justified and really it's not you're being wrong to anyone that's not a loved one you're being nasty to people it's like i think there's going to be a lot of self-reflection explored in this movie as it pertains to these aliens and whether or not they're actually a threat to us or if the people that think they are a threat are the real threat because I think that's just going to be one of the more social commentary aspects of it as well for us to consider. It does seem like if it's not just a straightforward adaptation of the monsters you do on Maple Street, there's a lot of inspiration being pulled from countless projects, I'm sure, no doubt. Jordan Peele, I would assume, is going to give us a spectacle of a horror movie that we're going to be talking about for many years to come, no doubt in my mind. I think this will actually even be better than us. I'm just going off of what I have seen so far and have heard from everyone that's talking about this footage. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, you can never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know any movies, news, or reviews that I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.